thought that I would, I don't know, I guess, record while I'm crying, but I'm, it's kind of stupid. Um, yeah, there you guys have hard days like this where you wake up and it's really hard to get out of bed and you don't really know why you need to get out of bed. If you do, I know how you feel, and it's not so fun. And I am just struggling today, and I figured it's not really real if I don't talk about it, so I'm struggling today. And it's so stupid. But anyways, uh I have hard days all the time, so I hope that this helps some people talk about some of their hard days because I just keep getting them more and more often and it's harder to fix them or get out of them so I'm really trying not to stay sad today. Uh, that's So I'm going to a wedding this weekend um, and I just figured I could do, I could like figure out what I'm going to wear with you guys and try on some outfits that I think are appropriate. Um, the wedding I think is out, it's outdoors so I assume it will be a little bit more casual and um, it's gonna be over 100 degrees, so I need to keep that in mind while I'm choosing my outfits here. And I basically only have one pair of shoes that I can wear that are formal-like, um, and so I'm going to have to figure out the best dress that I have, and hopefully you guys will like what I choose, but if not, it's always next time. I actually have another wedding to go to in two weeks, and so I'm gonna have to pick out an outfit for that too. So maybe I'll use one of the ones I don't use, or I'll reuse this one. Who knows? If it's a good one. Um, but yeah, let's get started. This dress is Realization Par, 
I forget the actual name of it. But it's a nice, at least kind of breathable material. And since it's going to be like 100 degrees, um, I have to keep that in mind. But I accessorized it with necklaces. If I even got that. Anyways. I'm not sure about this one. I feel a little too matronly. It's like I'm going to church. So I'm gonna have to try a different one on. This one's cute. This one feels good. I mean, this one I got on Etsy from a vintage store. And it's really cute. It kind of just feels plain. But it's it has some stuff on it and it's cute. And I don't know if it's just these shoes that are making me feel like I'm going to church. But I'm really wishing that I had another pair of shoes. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Winner, loser. What number is this? Not sure. I got more, though. Coming at ya. But here's the dress I have yet to wear yet from Lisa Says Ga. Um, it's so cute though. I got it for Christmas. And I don't know if it's too casual. It's kind of like sundressy. But it's cute. I mean, I don't know. I don't know anymore. But I got a couple more, I think. Maybe one. So, something's gotta happen here. Is it it? Is it not it? This one's not bad. I'm just not sure about these shoes with everything, but... This one's also realization par. Um, so yeah.
today I'm just going to be putting on my makeup. So, didn't really know how to fill some of the time in next week's video or this week's video. So I figured, ugh, I'm, I'm just not saying that anymore. So I wanted to do a makeup, like not really makeup because I'm not saying the way I do my makeup is great. Um, I just kind of try to figure it out as I go. Um, but I just figured, I just thought, hmm. But I'm just gonna do what I usually do. Maybe I'll do some fun colors on the eyes because I'm just gonna like wash it off anyway. So this is really just for you guys. So let's get started. This has layers of stuff, but I really can't go through that right now. I also have this little tiny caboodle. It's empty, I think, or there's... Okay. It's a small, tiny container. And then my friend Alex's mom, Susan, gave me this little box that she had in her garage when she was going through all of her stuff. So I just have like extra eyeshadows and palettes in there. Are these crooked? So now that I have all the containers. Oh, and then I have just a big container full of all my stuff that I've been traveling around with. And I'm leaving again this week to go back to San Francisco to visit one of my dearest friends and best friends in the world, Nick. And I'm so excited. And it's going to be so much fun. I guess we'll start with Patrick Ta. It's the She's Juicy Softening Lip Mask. or worse. Wow, I don't... It's Smashbox. The original photo finish. I'm not really sure if I love this stuff, but I, I bought it and now I'm just kind of using the rest of it. Just to keep my hair out of the way, because I have so much. Uh, now that we're done with that, we'll move on to what I use on my face. And I try not to use anything super thick. Um, and something lightweight because my skin is super sensitive. Um, it's always been that way. I have like eczema and stuff like that. And I break out really easily when I change products and stuff. But this, I use this It Cosmetics CC Cream Nude Glow. It has like the serum in it. So I think it's, it's like medium coverage. So it's not too much but you can kind of control it so you can put more if necessary i usually just put i might have just put too much on my face and i got a little bit already forgot that i didn't want to do this without having my eyebrows already done because the process of getting my eyebrows is so time-consuming because I don't have a lot and I'm trying to get every single one of them. Okay, and I just use the Anastasia
Start them on the left. Start them from the up. As high as they can go. Are you guys having fun? Because I'm not sure if I am. I hope you're having fun. I'm getting into it now. I'm going to get into it more. Now I'm feeling like I started and I got the base. And... There seems to keep being issues, but I, uh, I'm just going to push forward because at this point I have to do it. <laughs> I'm going to move on to the eyeshadows. Hopefully my eyebrows aren't too crazy for you. If they are. Fuck you. Because I don't really know how to do them. And uh, I just like them to look thick, as thick as humanly possible. Uh, primer. Let's do blue. Let's just, I'm wearing a fucking yellow orange shirt. Let's fucking do a light blue. And we'll do it like the main character from that movie X. If you guys ever saw X, um, my friend Abby and I loved that movie and we were both like enamored with Mia Goth, I think it is, that plays the main girl. Um, she has the light blue eyeshadow and the freckles and the overalls. It's a vibe, it's a look. And so for my birthday, we went to Palm Springs and I tried to do a blue eyeshadow and it didn't really translate. I kind of just looked messy, if that makes any sense, if any of you know what it's like to get to the phase where you just look kind of messy, your makeup looks messy, um, maybe because you don't know how to do it. Uh, that's kind of where I was. So hopefully my eyebrows are fucking even. This is, that would be so embarrassing. So if we're going blue, I'm going to go with this palette that I got at Ulta. The High Tide ColourPop palette that I just picked up because I saw it had some blues in it. This is going to be wild. I just have a pencil like this. I have this little fancy thing. It's like a brush cleaner. But here's the Fenty. The color is Petal Poppin. I'm using this as a mirror, so. Okay. We're good. Do I look a little sweeter on one side? One side. I think it blends pretty well though. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this, but I put a little bit on my nose. Just to you know I have some pink in my cheeks. I can't remember which blue I used the last time, but I'm just going to take a plunge. How's it look? Far oh, so good. The contrast with the yellow, I dig it. Um, I'm gonna look like a clown at the end. I am not a makeup artist. Spend my money on stupid shit like this. And then try to do it. Oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start 
blending some things together here. Okay. So it's on there, but it needs to be better on there. So I'm going to have to do it again. Uh, round two. A lot more vibrant. The sun's coming at you. Okay, now, now we're talking. Now we're really blue. Do I regret it yet? Yeah, looks good. Mm -hmm. I kind of look freaky right now, but it'll look good. I may have overcommitted. I put more blue. <sighs> looked at myself in the camera and it's a little scary. Jesus fuck. Well, it's as blended as it's gonna get, so we gotta move on to the next phase, which is doing it underneath on the under eye part, which I'm just going full fucking clown right now. right. So you fuck it up with blue on the top and you fuck it up with blue. Now it kind of looks like a real clown. I'm sorry. Now it's looking like too much. I'm really starting to doubt myself. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got it. So right now I have this Glossier uh, Heat bronzer, and I hate it. But kind of how I Charlotte Tilbury, Refresh Rose, Refresh Rose. Okay. I'm moving on. I'm moving on to the mascara. Okay. This is brown mascara too, which I prefer. I think I got this one from. YouTube house. Not too bad so far. I'm just gonna try to stay far away so you guys can't see like the detail work. Because that's where you know. Let's put on some hula. Put some big freckles on. Okay. Now, do I really look like me a god? An X with the freckles?
Was it helpful? Probably not. This is it, guys. Um, I'm probably not going to do some type of makeup thing for a long time. Because I'm looking at it and I don't think it's that good and I'm a little embarrassed. I'm not going out like this. I'm not going out like this. This is just uh, fodder for the video. So, I don't know, maybe somebody has some more recommendations on like better, I think it's the eyeshadow. I don't know. I mean, it could have gone worse. All I know is that I'm definitely not going to be doing one of them for a while because it's a lot and does it feel like I look like a clown? I mean, biasa? That's what my mom says. Not to me all the time or anything, but biasa. It's a little bit much. But anyways, you know, I have to fill the time somehow and I have to do things that I don't want to do a lot. So I'll probably do one of these again and it'll be better. It'll be more like everyday stuff. I just, I've been really into this blue and I'm glad that I don't like do this often and try to wear the sounds of the world because it's a little much, but it's a look and it's for something, you know? If I'm going somewhere, if I'm like Halloweened up, but not for a day like today. Today is just a normal day, so it's just a normal day, and I don't need blue eyeshadow. But anyways, RIP to the blue eyeshadow, and um, yeah. I'll see you guys soon, and I'll see you next week, because I'm going to be going to San Francisco, and you guys will get to see some of it, so.